All right, what's going on, everybody? We're going to do a little Friday round here. So we're going to play a round on the uh, East, uh, E6 Connect. We're going to do uh, the Garmin here. So we're just kind of playing the standard settings. I have it on the blue T. And as you can see, we're playing on the phone. Um, so we're going to do that. And, uh, you know, while we're doing this, one of the things I'm hoping to do is just, uh, you know, see how the round works. I don't have my, you can see we're working on the new studio. There's actually some things we're going to do. Uh, I'm hoping here soon. So we kind of changed our plans, but we'll play right now. So I don't have the projector or anything yet that uh, we're going to do, but uh, let's go ahead and go. So. Actually, I probably should play. Let's see. First hole. We'll say it's a little tough. I'm playing on my phone, which again I like, but it's kind of hard. Let's see. Still haven't figured out. There we go. That's a red light. That's more like it. Okay, it's ready. Hmm. Let's see here. There we go. All right, first tee shot off. So we're gonna kind of check, I, I didn't even aim that one, but we're gonna check the distances, stuff like that. We'll see what we're getting. 236, spin kind of high. That's what we're getting on the other launch monitors. So let's see, 139. So I, I just noticed it does have, we do have the power and spin penalty on. So I'm going to have to kind of play that. So I'm going to hit a full nine here. See if we can get there, but we didn't. So 92 there. So these are going to be the shots where I'm really interested. When I've got no good fairway lie, you know, nothing should be doing anything. And I kind of know how far. That shouldn't get all the way there. That would be my guess. I didn't quite, I kind of, I didn't quite drive that one enough. I kind of flipped it. So we'll see. Not bad. It is hard when you're playing on your phone. Oh, Garmin's disc has resets. So not that big of a deal. 187 uphill. We're playing like 200. And we've got helping wind. So I'm gonna hit a four iron. That's it pretty good. That should eat. Hmm. Let's see. We might have to. Uh, let's 
So the device reset, when you, that happens, apparently we've got to hit the button. So now we should be good, yep. So one thing I'm noticing is it's, it's, it's saying calculating all the time. And, uh, you know, which means it's seeing something. There we go. I got that one. So let's see. I mean, I realistically downwind, I should have hit that over. My guess is I should have hit that over 200 yards. Um, so, you know, again, I'm kind of just playing the round to kind of see if it's correct. So 199, spin seems okay. So apparently I'm on the green. Didn't, can't tell. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to figure out the phone thing. So I'm into the wind. Let's go driver. Now I played last week and I was hitting it, you know, if I hit a good one, I was hitting it at least 270. That one was hit good, but we didn't get it. So for people that are wondering, I've got, I've got it set at six feet behind and I've got um, almost nine feet of flight. So that was it even better. Well, I'll tell you this, we're not gonna get through this round if I gotta keep hitting like that. So that's frustrating. Well, what's frustrating is it just keeps seeing like ready and you know, like all that. It's like, I'm not sure what it's seen. Like there's a light on the thing that, you know, says, hey, it's red the shot. Like it's normally green and then it goes red like when you're moving. And I've seen that with the Garmin app, but here it's just freaking out. It's just going all the time. So. So it gets that one. I would say that's the worst hit of the three. 248, I mean, I think I was into the wind. Yeah, so I mean, that's not too bad actually into a you know, 15 mile an hour wind. This course also should be at sea level. So we're gonna lay it up down there. That was hit good. So it's doing good on those so far, I think. So this club, this is my three iron. It should go like 210 to 215. Into the wind, it might be a little short of that, but that was hit good. So 212 it went, so that's good. We've got 92 into a little bit, but in the fairway. So just a decent little 54 for me. Hit that good. So we're reading those. Into the wind, I probably wasn't able to get it all the way there. I don't usually play with the wind on, to be honest because I think it's hard. I think it's hard to play with wind. You know, when you're out there playing, I think you got to feel it. You know, you kind of feel like, hey, this wind's going to do this or this wind's going to do that. But uh, anyway, all right. Here's what I want to try. I want to try three wood. And it really doesn't make sense on this hole. So we're going to drive an iron. I'll try three wood next hole. Hit that good. No, no read. Okay. Let's see. So I thought I just had is probably gonna matter. What? Cl 
club I'm using, you know. See if that matters with how it's reading. I didn't hit that one particularly good. But it's in play. One sixty three downhill, but into a lot of wind. Gonna hit a little six. So we get, I hit that one pretty good. I must have drew it. We'll see. So I did do the alignment of the device. Shock gimme, I'm not sure why, but hey. We're on to the next, okay. This hole I would normally not hit three wood, but I just want to, you know, for fun just to see what happens. So here we go. So let's hit good. Let's see what we get. I normally hit this through at about 250. 235 carry, 262 to the rollout. That's, that's pretty, I'd say that's not too bad. Wind has mysteriously died down. So we got 162 again. Or 168, I should say. I think that's what it's at. 166. We're going to go six iron here. Oh, I chunked it. Oh, didn't get it. So that's good. Actually, it's not good, but good for the, good for the game. it better let's see so this is like my 180 ish club the fact that we're at band in here you know sea level should bring it down a little bit but I did hit that one good I'm not really sure about these why it's it, I don't know if it's a Garmin thing where it's just not gonna let me chip those I don't feel like with Mevo plus I when my Mevo plus I I tend to you know, I don't putt all the time with that. I'm just not a huge fan of putting on the Sam. So that was a nine iron. That was hit very good, but it didn't get it. So, I mean, definitely frustrating. The amount of no reads so far is very high. I don't get that many no reads when I'm not playing E6. So, and those two were ripped. That was hit good too. We'll see, that's a nine iron. That's like a 150 club, you know, for me normally. And then at sea level, probably take a few off. All right, 353, I'm gonna hit driver, because we just wanna see. So it, I thought it might be exclusive to the driver, you know, the issues, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. I absolutely roasted that one, ugh. So, we're definitely going to get a workout here, hitting more balls than we need, but that's all right. All right, one more try. We're going to see.
and that was hit good. A little left, I feel like. So let's see. So I would guess that like the C level and stuff, my guess is like 260. 281, I mean, not bad. What we got? 90, so that's like a little, for me, that's like a three quarter, 54. That's the 50. Let's see what we got. That's gonna be short. That should be short. Or right in it. Stop. Nah, that, that was short. That would not have made it. I don't think. That's my opinion. It did get there, but. All right. So, so far, what I'm going to do is we're going to call it there. Um, I'm going to just check out some things with setup, see if there's some things I can do. Obviously, um, it, it's not bad as what, when you're hitting a shot, the numbers actually aren't too bad. The, the issue is it takes four or five shots to get a read. That's not fun. Um, I'm also curious about the E6 design. So I'm going to try another course next time that I've played on Mevo Plus with no putting because it constantly is saying like, hey, you can't hit this, you know, it's giving you a gimme. So that might be the limitations of the device, being able to read a chip and they've designed that in, or it's a course design error where they've labeled the wrong sections of the course, the green. So that's something that we would look at, but there's seven holes. I don't even know what I shot, like playing on the phone, you're not even knowing plus five. Like I, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you. So. From that standpoint, it's like, you know, it's not the best sim experience, I'll say, um, playing on your phone. Obviously, I could do this on an iPad um, and work on projecting it, but, um, you know, I'm worried more about all the other things, so I wasn't even paying attention to that. So, we'll work on the setup. I'm going to see what's going on and see if we can improve that, but, you know, right now, that's not a, that's not a good start on the E6, to be honest. So, we'll have to check it out and see what's going on, but, uh, yeah. That's it so far. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or things you see watching the round uh, that you might have noticed. And uh, I'll be interested to hear them and try them for the next one. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.